Hey, what's happening? Kylie here, and today we're going to be doing an upper body workout. We're going to be doing four different exercises. Two of them are going to be weighted exercises with the dumbbell, and two of them are going to be body weight exercises. Our goal is to build lean proportion muscle tone in our upper body, but in order to do that, we have to isolate all the major muscle groups accordingly. We've got to work our chest, our shoulders, our arms, and our back, and that's what we're going to be doing here today. So the first exercise we're doing here is called over the knee dumbbell curls. You'll see I'm sitting on a stool here. I'm going to grab one dumbbell. I'm going to fully extend my right arm, but more importantly, I'm going to put my elbow underneath my thigh. It's pretty much resting my right tricep on my right thigh here, right? In one motion, I'm going to curl up until I can't come up any further, ideally until the dumbbell makes contact with my chest. Then I'm going to contract my bicep and slowly come down until I reach a dead hang position once again. Uh, remember, whenever you're training biceps, Really important that you capitalize on the full range of motion and start each rep from a dead hang position. That's going to help you build long sculpted biceps that go from the bottom of your shoulder all the way to the top of your forearm, right? Just like this. Okay, so we're going to go for 10 reps on our right side and then once we're done, we're going to immediately switch and hit our left arm. So here we go. Minimal rest in between sets, same thing. 10 reps. Maintain full control, come down as slowly as you can. Okay, so next we're going to be hitting more of our back. This exercise call is called bent over dumbbell rows. So we're going to begin here by putting our right knee on the chair. Start with my left arm fully extended with my palm facing me. From here, I'm going to keep my body as horizontal as possible. Look ahead. And as I row up at the midpoint of each rep, I'm going to rotate my palm so it faces inward. It's going to help capitalize on the full range of motion which is definitely going to add to your back results. You reach this point, you're going to slowly come down and continue rowing. Try to get the dumbbell up until it's level with your chest at the peak point of each rep, just like this. We're going to go for 10 reps on our left side, then we're going to immediately switch and do 10 reps on our right side. Here we go. This is going to build some lean muscle mass to the middle portion of our backs. Done. Switching sides and our right side now. Same thing. Go all the way down to a dead hang with your arm. Don't use momentum, don't use speed. Go as slowly as possible as you're bringing the weight down. All right, so we hit our biceps, we hit our back. Now we're gonna be hitting our shoulders. This is called incline couch push-ups, all right? We're gonna start with our feet on the couch, keeping our hands about shoulder width apart, maybe a couple inches outside the range of our shoulders. And from here, we're just gonna come down until our chest hits the floor and then press up. Really important to keep your body as straight as possible though. You don't wanna slouch down and, and dip your hips here, okay? Now, by altering the angle here to an incline, it's gonna allow us to hit both our upper chest and our front deltoids. So I would say keep your rep counts anywhere between 10 and 20%. These are a little bit harder, but just focus on the form and do the best that you can do. Here we go. All right, 
So last we're gonna be doing couch dips. This is gonna be working our triceps. Start by sitting on the couch, putting your palms facing down, extend both your legs, fully extend your arms, and then dip down until your elbow is parallel with your upper body, right? Ideally, you wanna come all the way down on these, but if you do that, that's gonna be hitting more of your lower chest. We're not looking to do that here on this variation. So to hit your triceps, this is one of the rare exercises where you actually wanna limit the full range of motion. Looks like this. All right, so let's try to keep our reps, same thing, between 15 and 20 reps per set. Here we go. Okay, my friend. So, four different exercises, building chiseled muscle tone in our upper body, but we're not done, you know that. We cycle through once, let's try to cycle through two more times, all right? Minimal rest, starting here with our over the knee dumbbell curls. Right arm first. Same thing, 10 reps. Make sure your elbow's below your knee. Probably more creative ways to break your arm. Right into our left arm. Dead hang. Come up until the dumbbell hits your left pectoral region. over mid rows, working our left side first, 10 reps, on our right side now. Incline couch push ups, hit the upper portion of our chest and our deltoids as well. Let's go for 15 to 20 good reps. All right, last set. Going into our couch dips. Extend both our legs. Whew. Two circuits done, one more to go. Here we go. Over the knee dumbbell curls. 10 reps. Same thing on our left side. Good thing about this exercise, you can sort of spot yourself 
when you reach the point of exhaustion. Finish those last couple reps, which are always going to be the difference maker in your overall growth. Here we go, three more. Just like that. I can spot with my right hand. Maximize the output of the muscle. One more for good luck. All right. Bend over mid rows. Almost done, my friends. Incline couch push-ups. Here we go. Make sure your chest comes in contact with the floor on each rep. Last set. Couch strips, dips, burning out with our triceps. Oh man, all right. So, upper body circuit workout, two weighted exercises, two body weight exercises. Went through three times. Uh, great way to go in and dissect all our individual major muscle groups in the upper body. Um, once again, to get lean proportion muscle mass, you gotta focus in on your chest, your shoulders, your back, your biceps and your triceps. If you neglect any one of these areas, it's gonna be really difficult for you to overcome your bad genetics, burn fat, and build symmetrical muscle tone. So as always, my friend, leave your comments below, let me know how you do, and more importantly, let me know what workouts you wanna see so I can help you reach your fitness goals in the shortest amount of time possible. I really hope you like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.